Do you remember the time when you were in Corona or Relay or even F Storm and you changed the light directionality with a single click of a button? And you come to Arcane and wonder where is this button or how can I change it? Today I want to teach you how to change your light directionality in Arcane. If this video is helpful to you, please like and subscribe to the channel. And let's begin. Here I want to demonstrate how the light works in Corona Renderer and then recreate the same in Octane. I set the directionality 2.5 and you can see how the light is changing. In the render element section, I added a direct light to show only the light without any global illumination. I also added another light to the scene, which is the same as the first, but is closer to the wall. Okay, it's time to switch to Octane. Let's start from scratch. I will change the production renderer to Octane. All right, put it here. Then I will bring my models in. If you don't know how to work with this script, I made a video about it and I will put a link for you. Okay, press Alt B and change my viewport background to the default. Okay, then I will need to replace my lights with the Octane one. Okay, you can see by default the target mode is on. So that's why we have a target light. Disable the target mode and then draw the light and change it to five centimeters. Put it here and then instance it to here. Get rid of that. Okay. Let me bring the Octane Render Report. You don't have this icon here. In order to add this, you need to customize custom user interface. Go to the toolbar. In the main UI, choose Octane. And in the actions, there is a open Octane viewport. Add it wherever you want. All right, delete this button. There's a light in our environment, so you can see it's affecting our model. I will disable the environment light. And as you can see, there is no kind of GI in our scene because by default, the kernel type is set to direct light. If you change it to path tracing, you can see the GI is calculating and taking so much time to be cleaned. I changed the GI clamp to two or one and it's rendering much more faster. Okay, but for now I just bring it back to direct light because I just want to see how my light is exactly behaving. Okay. No need to change camera parameters. Let's grab the light and change some parameters. In order to add directionality to the light, you need to add the falloff map in the distribution. You can see there's three types of falloff map, the OSL, the general, and the octane one. I will choose the octane. Okay, let's bring the material editor and instance it here. All right. Let me make this render viewer a little bigger so you can see better. Oops. 
lock the aspect ratio and then increase it. Okay. If I increase the minimum value, you can see we kind of add a light to this middle part. I usually some kind of reverse the minimum and maximum. So I change the minimum to 1 and then the maximum to 0. And after that, by changing or reducing the ball of skew factor, you can see we're kind of giving a directionality to our light. All right, fair enough. You can also add color correction to this fall off in order to fine tune your light. For example, if I increase the contrast, don't forget to add it to the light. Okay. Let me decrease the contrast to zero. We can change the contrast of the edges of the light and you'll still be able to change the directionality but with more contrast. Okay, I'll put it to 0.3 and make the contrast zero. I will usually increase the gamma to two. So let me increase the power. So my light has softer edges. And after increasing the power, we're kind of getting the same result as we achieved in Corona. So if I want to recap what we did, add the falloff map to the distribution, reverse the minimum maximum, and change the fall of skew factor to 0.3 and then add the color correction and change the gamma to 2. That's all. Thanks for watching this video. You can also download this scene from the link in description. And as always, see you in the next one.